Hey guys, would you like to start a new business? Maybe you're just graduated and thinking about a good source of income, a new project to launch. Or maybe in this hard time you want to have a new source of income, which is always good because as an entrepreneur or even an employee, the key is to have different sources of income to anticipate crises. Honestly, what will happen if you have problems in your current job and you suddenly left your current position of your company, you will probably spend a couple of weeks or months searching for another job. Or what will happen if you have problems in your startup and just close it for a moment or forever? Hopefully it will never be the case for you, but those things can happen for every one of us. And as you see, the whole world is in crisis right now, so it's good to diversify your sources of income. Like, if you have your own office or local job, it would be better to have an online business too. Even if you are a big nerd, do not depend from one and only one source of income, so that you keep making money in different situations. For example, if you are a teacher, it's good to sell your own courses in different platforms, or do online classes for your students, maybe one-to-one -one course. It will be benefit for both of you in this quarantine. If you plan to start a new business, embark on a new career, here is 9 mistakes to avoid, 9 things I would like to discover before starting my own business. So if this is interesting for you, please continue watching this video up to the end. Welcome to every one of you on Summerim Web Design. In this channel, you will see different videos about how to start a new business, especially an online business, photo editing, video editing, tips and tricks on social media, web development, and graphic design. Mistake number one Take it seriously. A lot of persons start a new business just to occupy themselves or testing a new idea. Like, if this idea makes me a good income, I will continue, if not, I will start another one or apply for another job. And this is completely wrong, because you will always look at it as an additional thing and never focus 100% on your work. So you will lose your time, time that consider so precious in life. And maybe at the moment that you feel this idea can be good for your life, it will let you down because you haven't done everything correctly. You will just be disappointed and feeling incapable to do something good, which is obviously wrong. Please ask yourself what will you be in one year, two years, or maybe ten years, and see if this business, this work that you will start, much with your goals, your current goals, your future goals. If this is the case, then start it. Mistake number two, scared to be in light, scared to start, not ready yet. The famous question, what if? What if the idea is totally wrong? What if the product is not perfect for my customers? What if people criticize me? What if I do wrong and someone else is hurted? But honestly, if you don't try it, you will never know. If you don't make mistakes, and you will make mistakes, not to discourage you, but it's the truth, we're human, and at the beginning of everything, we have made mistakes. But those mistakes are just a good lessons for us. There's a huge difference between something that others teach us and something we can learn by ourselves from our experiences. And always at those dark moments, when everything goes wrong or no one by our products, some revelations came to us like, finally, I just have to switch for another marketing strategy or, 
Oh my god, I have to cross out this service or this product. If you don't start it basic, you will never be proud that you have made it perfect and bigger. There's also a lot of person who got a really good ideas in the morning, but before they go to sleep, they miss them. Like, am I crazy to start with this? Or, no one has done this before. But in reality, those ideas are just precious. First of all, it's your idea, which means that it's original. If you don't let it out, no one will do it for you. In addition, the most greatest things in the world are when started by something different. Mistake number three, complicating things. Your goal now is to start selling as fast as you can. Don't wait at the making your product or service perfect. It's okay to make mistakes that you can improve later. The first important thing is to keep your business alive, make your customers happy and gain a revenue. So do not complicate things like I need maybe a year to make my product the best product in the market or to build my website or to be ready for everything. This is not good because maybe you will spend a couple of months or a year and finally your customers will not need it at all or don't like it because everything is changing right now. So don't wait and start with something small, something really, really basic, something that you can buy next week. You will get feedbacks, get some money first, then invest in something bigger. Mistake number four, over plan everything. I personally tend to over plan everything, every single minute in my life, like waking up at 4 a.m., having breakfast at 5 a.m., working for two hours on this topic. But what I discovered is, first thing, I use a lot of my energy. The energy that I need for my work, doing the schedules, plans, stressing for something that maybe would never happen. And usually things never go as I planned. So this is also completely wrong because Maybe you have planned to study a new language for two hours per day. But once something has happened at those two hours, you will not be free to switch for another activity. If you do it, you will always feel that you have missed something in your schedule. So have daily goals, but do not plan every single minute in your life. Just be confident, ready for any situation and take risks. Mistake number five, set in real goals. For example, do not promise to yourself that you will make $500 in a month while you just started a business. On the other hand, make your goal concrete, be as precise as possible. Give a start and finish date for your goal. Instead of saying I will make money, say I'm going to make $1,000 in the next five months. However, starting a business needs your time and energy, so do something to reach this target goal every single day. Mistake number six, very enthusiastic. Starting several projects at the same time. You're a human, not a robot, not Superman. So when you feel this enthusiasm, the power to start another business, like, oh my god, I should start this project because I feel it, I know that it would be great for my life. Be realistic, think twice and look at your current business, at your schedule. Because why to start something else if you couldn't manage it as better as possible? Remember that everything you start today will grow by time. So just make sure that you're capable to keep it alive. If not, and this is what I advise you to do, keep the idea in your mind as a future project. You will have all the time you need to prepare it correctly and see after a while if you always 
would like to invest on it. Honestly, we, our needs, our feelings, our business never stay the same by the time. Mistake number 7. Talking instead of doing. Do not talk a lot about your business idea or any other goals in your life. Talking do not mean doing. You need to do. People used to tell others about their ideas, maybe to get their point of view or to get some encouragement. But when you talk a lot about your goals, your dreams, you lose the credibility. And maybe there will be some people who discourage you. Maybe they don't see things as you see them. Always protect your goals. Even you, when you used to say, I will do this, I will start that, I will be like this, you will end up by finishing everything in your head and nothing in your real life. Mistake number 8. Following someone's course. And this is maybe the most dangerous thing, not just in business, but in life too. Sometimes, especially when we feel bad, when we feel that we have to be useful and do something in our life, maybe we just finished school and scared the fact that we haven't any job yet. We see something on Facebook or Instagram or a person starting something. So we start thinking that it's a good idea, why not to do it, maybe because we are in the same country or city, or we got the same education, there is no doubt that I can do it too. So even if you are 100% sure that you can do it perfectly, the question here is not can I do it, but do I really want to embark on this career? Does this idea match with my future goals, the life that I have chosen? If not, just don't try it. Because to succeed in something, you have to do it with love, enthusiasm, confidence, smiling while working. Give all your energy, be happy when you wake up very early or when you keep working all the night. And you only be capable to do this when there is this feeling inside your heart which pushes you keep going. When we follow our goals, we end up with something. But when we follow someone's goals, there will be a moment where we just discover that we deserve to follow our dreams and cancel everything we have started. So my advice is, you are precious. Your ideas are your treasure. They deserve to be tried. Take risks if necessary, but never try to be a copycat at the time that you can be the best. Last mistake, mistake number 9. Very serious. Do not take your job as a punishment or I have to make money to buy a house, a car, to travel, to study and all those needs in our life. Enjoy your work and love it. Love what you do to get what you love. Just smile while working, relax more and work less. Look around you and be grateful for everything. You know, we never stop working in life. So just live the moment and be happy. Thank you so much for watching the video up to the end. I hope that you will start your business as soon as possible. Tell me in comment what's your big fear to start a business if you haven't started yet or your big mistakes while starting your business. If you have any questions also feel free to tell me in comment and I will be more than happy to help you. In the next videos we are preparing two topics so tell me if you want videos how to work from home or works that you can do from home. So, as I always say, do everything to achieve your goals. See you next time.